Hello guys, this is Andreo from Onyx International. We are here at Hong Kong to, in the HKTDC Autumn Edition 2019. And once again, we are introducing one of our latest models. The, in this time, we are introducing the new books 10.3 Note 2, the next generation of 10.3 books devices. And uh, for many that you already know, the previous version, the books, uh, sorry, the 13.3 the, the inches Max 3 version that we released in IFA Berlin, uh, you will find that is almost the same or very similar uh, in terms of hardware configuration and software features. But for the ones that you haven't seen the Max 3, let me explain you how this device works. First of all, uh, for the mass production of this device, we will be using already a uh, dark green backs, uh, back, uh, back case, which is a very nice color and quite trendy right now. And also we are using a dual speaker on the back, so uh, you can uh, listen to MP3 music or you can listen to text-to-speech or even listen to some post uh, podcast if you want. And on the bottom, we can see that we have a Type-C slot for a Type-C con uh, connection and this Type-C slot is, uh, has an OTG support standard. It supports OTG standard, so now you can uh, plug and play directly without using any driver or using a, a third-party PC to install. Like you can, for instance, uh, connect a keyboard or you can connect a mouse and starting using it directly or even a TF card reader. And also another thing is uh, we have uh, on the bottom we have the mic so which is very good for the voice recognition that later on I'm gonna explain you so on the top of the device we would have the the power button to just uh, turn on turn off the device for the screen we are using a, a Mobius flexible screen with a glass cover and is a flat screen as you can see here so this is much uh, nicer and good looking. So another of the things that we have included is the now the back button, the, the main button on the on the front case, it has a fingerprint recognition. Let's go and set up the fingerprint recognition. First of all here we have uh, put some code. Okay so to set up the the new uh, fingerprint recognition we go to password fingerprint management then we have to select our password and immediately we can already set up uh, and add the fingerprint we can add several fingerprints so for many people and family members that want to use the device so it's very easy you just need to put your fingerprint several times on the back button until it is set up you can add another or we are done and then just we go to the to the sleep mode and as soon as you want to wake up the device we just use the fingerprint so we are making this device much more secure and uh, it is faster when unblocking it some of the new things is that uh, currently we have improved our Wi-Fi connectivity uh, up to 5 gigahertz so the Wi-Fi is it's, it's much faster to connect with the different type of networks. From there, we can see that, for instance, we have uh, several ways of synchronization uh, with the cloud services. Uh, first, first of all, we could we could uh, write something here. Hello, guys. This is Note. Two, as you can see the latency is very good and we can share this node immediately for example as a PNG and a QR code will be created so after that after that we just need one second I set up the Wi-Fi connectivity one second So we already have in our mobile phone a very fast way. We already have the notes we have written in our in our note too. So now we can, for example, 
share these notes immediately through WhatsApp or WeChat or Skype or any other mean of, of uh, transfer uh, with others. So it's very fast. Another way would be to use third-party applications that we can download from our App Store. So we go to our App Store and we have some tools like, for example, Microsoft OneDrive or in uh, Work, we would have uh, Evernote, etc. So we can download such, such uh, uh, service, cloud service applications or note applications and then you can, we can work directly on those applications and take our notes and directly uh, have it in, in our cloud and use it in, our, in other devices such as mobile phone or laptops. A third way of, of uh, synchronization with the cloud would be setting up our device, binding our device with another account, such as Dropbox, Evernote, or OneNote, for instance. For example, let's say that we have binded with Evernote and later we just go to the AnyNote. We long press and we go to synchronize. Immediately it will show in the, in the, in the cloud. So we can again share it through the laptop or through a mobile phone. These are the three ways of sh shareability. The screen is using a, a resolution of uh, 1872 times uh, 1404 pixels. So it is, a, uh, it is about uh, 200, uh, 220 uh, d DPI. A screen the resolution is very good we can download third-party applications for reading or for working as as just now you we saw that you can download for the, the cloud service you can also download for reading content such as you have Amazon Kindle here you have a Flipboard uh, for reading the the news maybe now you, you need to set up an account but uh, you can very easily read your news you can read the manga you have different ways. This device is using already an, an uh, Android 9.0 0, uh, operational system, which, as you can see, it has the, 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 its configuration, its particular configuration, and it's very good for controlling the whole device. This helps also the device to be more, uh, how to say, more easy to, uh, to work with other applications or to uh, customize the device efficiently. Uh, okay, and in, in terms of notes, we have added some new possibilities. For example, we have the different uh, grayscale. We can, uh, let's make a try here. We can uh, use black, we can use a dark, a dark gray. We can use even lighter gray. Or finally, we can use the, the, li the lighter gray, lightest gray. And uh, of course there is the white, but the white we just will see it if we paint over the black one, for instance. We can make different shapes and we can use also red, green and blue. Of course we are not going to see it here, but as soon as we share the, the notes in a, with a laptop, for instance, in the laptop we will see the, your, your notes in that color. So uh, some of the features that uh, I want to show you about the recognition, we can use a handwriting recognition and also voice recognition. For the handwriting recognition, let's for example find one of the templates, this one, and let's write something. This is a test for node book Italy then we just we have two ways of uh, of handwriting recognition we have the original recognition which will uh, convert it into digital text keeping the same size and the same location of the words and the other one would be the reflow recognition which will keep we will put it uh, all in one line and we just need to separate the words and make it uh, nicer.
Another way, there is the voice recognition, which, okay, we go to reflow recognition and then we can erase this. The voice recognition right now is just working in English. Since the connectivity is not very good, uh, maybe, maybe the voice recognition software with this Wi-Fi connectivity is not working very well. But when you are at home with the right Wi-Fi connectivity, the voice recognition is perfect. Yeah, quite good. <laughs> so you can you can have all your voice notes converted into digital text in your in your note two, and then you can share these notes directly with the cloud or with other uh, people through the QR code as I showed you before. So here we can see that, for example, we can convert our handwriting text into digital text. And once, once we are in the digital text, we can keep taking notes through the keyboard or, for example, hello, or we can use the we can use the handwriting or even we can use the voice recognition hello guys so once we are in this uh, mode we can use different ways to provide the text another thing is that this device is using front light CTM front light. CTM means that it has a warm and cold light. As you can see here, now we have syn we have synchronized both the warm and the cold. So when we turn it on, it is a mixed. But then if we do not synchronize, we can use for example warmer, which is more orange, like warm color. Or we can use bluish light, which is more colder. It depends on the time of the day, it depends on the location or environment that you are in, it, you will use one or the other. Also depending on, on yourself, on your eyes. This would be uh, some of the, the, the new features. We have a library where you have all your books and for example one of the new features we, we developed for the books would be that now you can, you can split screen when you press in the middle, there is the menu showing and, and then you, add, you, you have three options for splitting screen. You can split screen with the same document. So when you do it with the same document, you will have like two pages like in a regular book and you can just turn one page or the other. No problem. You can take notes. both pages it's fine you just press this button to go back the notes are saved as you can see another way would be to split screen with different documents which is a very interesting tool because you can the same document you're reading and then you can you, you can read it and then you can open a second one to compare for example this one so now we are we we are reading two different documents which is very good to compare data or to compare any type of text that you want to compare. Lastly, the third way of a splitting screen would be the same text and a notes. A note sheet. So you can take your notes here. These notes goes, uh, you take notes about the text you, you are reading here. And you can save the, those notes and go back. Very easily later, you can go to the TOC and find your, your written notes. In page number eight, in page number seven, in page number three, we took some notes. We can go easily there, or even you can select these notes 
you select it and you can share it, export it as a PDF, or export it as a, as a PNG, for example. About the navigation ball, this is a very useful feature because the navigation ball allows you to have several options that you can select very fast. For example, we can control the volume from the navigation ball. We can go uh, back. We can control settings. We can even control the, the multitasks ap application. So we can, for example, turn off all of them so we are not uh, wasting energy. We can even turn off. But then the nice thing is that we have several options. We can go to navigation ball and we can select for each button which, which option we want. For example, we want to use the Bluetooth to connect Bluetooth very fast or Wi-Fi or to, have a, to make a screenshot of, the, of what we are looking at. Uh, we have a previous page, next page, so we have several options. Full refresh, let's check the full refresh or the H2 mode. So now we can make a screen refresh very fast. This device is using a battery of 4,300 milliampers. We have increased 200 milliampers compared to the previous model. So now uh, this device even lasts longer time. As I said in previous videos, uh, with this device, you can use it every day for six hours. And, you, and the, dev the device, uh, you can use it for about six to 10 days without charging the battery. So this is very good because from Monday to Friday for working or for studying or for your regular use, you can use it without charging the device. And for, inst uh, for instance, uh, on the weekend, you can start charging it. So it's very, very nice. We have our own shop from where you can download several uh, books from the Gutenberg project. These are free books, but it's very good. And step by step, we want to start working with publishers to introduce new content in different countries. So this is a new project coming soon. We can have all our storage here. We can create different files to, to, con to have organized all our books, all our notes. So actually, this is a... This is a tablet is your e-ink tablet uh, you can bring it everywhere it lasts uh, the battery lasts longer time the screen is is uh, good for the eyes and uh, you don't need to bring all the papers which is quite uncomfortable and uh, sometimes you lose your information you can have everything here it is amazing uh, with 64 gigabytes of storage you can uh, you can have almost everything you can download applications so it's very very useful so <laughs> just if you want to know more information i'm sh i'm showing here right now the technical specifications of the note 2 uh, some things i didn't mention during the video for example uh, we are using a, a cpu qualcomm octa core with 2 gigahertz which makes the device much faster than before uh, it is using a 4 plus 64 gigabytes solution uh, also, the resolution I mentioned it is using uh, two ways of touch. One is using the Wacom pen with electromagnetic touch and also a capacitive touch with your finger. Uh, the, the, besides the Wi-Fi, it also has Bluetooth uh, connectivity. The, for the Bluetooth connectivity is very useful because you can connect with a, a Bluetooth headset, for instance, or, or Bluetooth speaker, so uh, you can listen to music uh, wirelessly. The battery, as I said, is 4,300 milliampers. It's using Android 9.0. It supports the speakers on the back and mic on the bottom. It has uh, the power and the back key like physical button, a USB slot, as I show you, supports OTG uh, standard, and it is seven millimeters uh, thick, and it's very light, it's just 350 grams, so even less than half kilogram, which makes it a device very useful. We are uh, releasing this product uh, around November, November 2019, so you will be able very soon to get it in our in our online shop or in Amazon. Thank you very much.